Let's watch. Oh shit, hold on. I'm not going to talk about it until after the trailer. Exploration. And dread. An unprecedented threat is closing in on Samus. Metroid Dread. The most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy. Samus Aran. On her latest mission, she'd explore the inner belly of a beastly planet. This mission will take Samus to the as yet unexplored planet. Like I said, I'm gonna watch it first before I talk about it. Oh, my eyes are dry as fuck. Ah. Beneath the planet's surface lies a massive labyrinth. You know I'm gonna be fucking looking at this map. Hold on. From caves to magma chambers, ancient forests, and underwater depths. That three jumps? I I don't know. It's a powerful arm cannon, missiles, her jumping prowess, a new slide, and a brutal melee counter, which defeats enemy attacks. As Samus continues to explore, she'll gain additional abilities. Cling to certain walls and ceilings with the spider magnet. Morph into a ball to enter narrow passages with the morph ball. Move at high speed with the flash shift. Lock on to multiple targets okay. at once. With that answers that question. Missile. With each ability you uncover as Samus, your exploratory options will expand. Eventually, the whole planet will open up and be yours to explore at will. The abilities you gain can also be used in combat against enemies, making them versatile in a number of situations. Yes. Research robots called Emmy will track down Samus and attempt to capture her. Their bodies are covered with tough armor that regular attacks cannot penetrate. If they capture Samus, she will meet her end. Emmy hunt down Samus by detecting the sound she makes. And once one sees her, the real hunt begins. To evade the relentless, Emmy, your only option is Emmy. to use Samus's abilities to avoid detection and escape. Different types of Emmy with varying capabilities lie in wait across planet ZDR. So it's like Metroid Prime 2. Deadly the Emmys are the things that give us cool abilities, I'm thinking. Not every ability, obviously. You're going to get stuff without the Emmys. The planet. But they're certainly going to hold Speed Booster and X-Ray, it seems. And is the mysterious bird-like Chozo figure ally or enemy? What secret truths hide within planet ZDR? Beyond the mission, beyond the dread, what true terror lies in wait? Is that someone screaming? Ah! Yeah, it's gonna be a lot to go through. Metroid Dread. Players can use compatible amiibo figures with the Metroid Dread game. Acquire an additional energy tank by tapping the Samus amiibo. Or get an additional missile plus tank by tapping the Emmy amiibo. Tap these figures again to replenish a certain amount of the resources once per day. <laughs> one, one refill per day, dude. <laughs> okay, so it's going to have to be no... No, uh, fucking statue. No amiibo. Amiibo fucking. Third uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. underscore mold cheered. <laughs> X200. Samus Aran says hi.
so, smiley uh, face. No amiibo run, essentially. Thanks for the thanks for the bits and thanks for the resub. Is this what we're watching today of all days? Couldn't you have waited until my birthday was over at the strike of midnight and I turned back to come? Okay, so let's examine this now. That was quite a bit. Yeah, I know, but in the speed run, obviously there's going to be some sort of um, it's going to be no amiibo. Amoeb, no. All right. Exploration and dread. An unprecedented threat is. There's like a purple one, a gold one of the Emmys. So like, there's yeah, like the purple that Samus already has Varia here. So certainly this thing. I mean, it might have uh, it might have uh, gravity. I don't know though. Threat is Crate is cool. Closing in on Samus. Um, there's a couple of things. There, there's a couple of things that obviously I need to address here. That looks pretty sweet. The most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, Samus Aran. On her latest mission, she'd explore the inner. I just want to see something. Yeah, it goes back too far. There's no map. Um, what is that? Is that an expansion? Very pretty late in the game. What kind of expansion is that? Is that a, is that a like a power bomb? No. Hey, Nova, thank you so much for your 11 months. Oh, is this double jump? Maybe no. Plasma boots. This might be where you get like the um Yeah, no. I, I'm thinking maybe Samus can't jump up there. Morph, where do you come from then? You fall from the ceiling because morph is you have to use morph to get in here. Maybe cross bomb? Yeah, I don't know. So we've already seen that. This I don't know if we've seen. Yeah, I've seen this. This is kind of neat. I saw a train or, uh, later on, too. You could slide in there. I guess you could slide. This mission will take Samus to the No, that's not what I'm saying. She just needs, she just needs the uh, Air Jordans, dude. That's all. Planet ZDR, which holds many secrets beneath the planet's surface. Oh, okay. Mission log, Samus, global map, place marker. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I see everything here. This is a this is a pretty big map so far. Where I see, I don't, I mean, this isn't the whole map. What the fuck are these symbols now? What is this? Is this an Emmy location? Are these like little boxed off areas Emmy location? Emmy locations, I wonder. I don't know. The fuck is this? This stands out to me. Remove the chat for us to see it. <sighs> yeah, but then you guys will be gone. Um. Oh, the white rooms you think are the Emmy? Emmy rooms after the Emmy is dead. Oh, this is after the Emmy is dead? What are the white ones then? Just the Emmy? Whoops, I didn't mean to turn you guys back on. Um, okay, I mean, I guess there's not as much to examine here <clears throat> as I thought. Unless I'm trying to, like, route it out. <laughs> I'd, have to, um, I'd have to sit down and look at the, um, the gameplay and then figure out where they start in the gameplay and then... Uh, work from there, and I could probably figure out something pretty good. But I don't know. It's a massive you know, it, it's pretty difficult. Um, yeah, to, to figure out what any of this is so far. Yeah, this is probably a boss. Uh, maybe Kraid. It looks like it's like a... Labyrinth of What's that? Maybe where you start the game? No. No. 
All right, yeah, I can't, I can't sit there and look at that. I'd have to, um, yeah, it could be Kraid. Um, I'd have to look at the gameplay, like see this map here on the top right, which you can't see, but um, I can see it, so I could use that. But the thing is, this isn't the whole map, anyways. Like, there's a ton below, it seems, and to the to the left. Labyrinth of distinct areas. The big map. Caves to magma chambers, ancient forests, and underwater depths. Okay, that's what I saw. Chambers, ancient forests, and underwater depths. One jump, two jump, three jump. So there was two jumps there. Is that, is that, no. Nerfed space jump, you think? I don't know. Uh, Demon, thank you so much for the 30. At Samsa's disposal. Is That's pretty sweet. At Samsa's disposal. It reminds me of the uh, impact crater, even though this is like in a cave system. Pretty sweet though. Disposal. Is a powerful arm cannon, missiles, her jumping prowess, a new slide, and a brutal melee counter, which deflects enemy attacks. Do we figure out what that is? As Samus continues to explore, she'll gain additional abilities. Cling to certain walls and see with the spider magnet morph into a ball to enter narrow into a ball with the morph ball move at high speed with the flash so yeah so this obviously is you know poor bag thank you so much for the five i appreciate that this ui looks like a high school class made it i don't mind the ui i don't know spider magnet morph. thank you thank you very much Bag for the five. Appreciate that. Uh, Devcast, thanks for the prime game. It's up. Into a ball to enter narrow passages with the morph ball. Uh, spider ball. Just saw that. So this. Move at high speed with so this is what I was concerned about at first, and this confirms it. The flash shift. The flash. You can do three. Shift. Yeah, so Under one, two, three, right there. That's pretty fucking speed. fast, man. The flash shift. Lock on Damn. I wonder when you get that way. With the flash shift. Two E tanks and 61 missiles. That means you can get it with a minimum of two E tanks, unless there's some sort of dev code. But you can get it with a minimum of two E tanks and 61 missiles. So that's pretty early on in the game, which means you might be able to get it sooner. I don't know. Pretty sweet. Lock on to multiple targets at once with the storm missile. With each ability you uncover as Samus, your exploratory options will expand. Eventually, the whole planet will open up and be yours to explore at will. Yeah, I don't think we're missing anything, right? If I if I miss something, let me know. But I think this is kind of stuff we've seen. Can also we already saw that. That that's like not that's not really X-ray. That's like um. They showed that in the last trailer. Be used in combat against enemies. It just like scans the area to show you. The space jump screw attack. Yeah, we did see that. Um, that was in the previous one as well. Making them versatile in a number of situations. Yes. Research robots called Emmy will track down Samus and attempt to capture her. Their bodies are covered with tough armor that regularly. I certainly hope that. So in Metroid Prime 2, you get a lot of abilities and like a lot of upgrades without uh, killing the uh, whatever they're called, the, the jump boss. I can't remember what they're called. Uh, the speed. Uh, guardian the jump guardian the piss your diapy guardian and i just hated that it just didn't seem creative 
it was kind of like, oh, and there here's another guardian. Mm, cool. I certainly hope that like I, I assume a lot of this is locked behind the Emmys because there's a lot of different colored Emmys, right? And they show off like different abilities, so I assume you have to like destroy them. Like the one was like speeding through. I assume you have to destroy that one to get like speed booster. The purple one might be like gravity suit or something. Maybe you like use that shit, the armor, and it like turns a gravity suit, you know? Um, is it? I mean, that doesn't make as much sense to me, forest fire, because it'd be like, oh, fight fire with fire. That'd be like fighting um, the a volcano uh, magma worm with plasma. It's like you got to fight fire with, you know, it doesn't make sense. It would make more sense to fight with ice or then you, or fight it with whatever you have. And then you get some sort of ability. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really make sense to say, oh, because this dude speed and you need to speed as well. You know. But I mean, it could be, I don't know. It, it, it could be that. If they capture Samus, she will meet her end. Emmy hunt down Samus by detecting the sound she makes. And once one sees her, the real hunt begins. To evade the relentless Emmy, your only option is to use Samus's abilities to avoid detection and escape. Different types of Emmy with varying capabilities. Yeah, like this shit. And escape. Different types of Emmy with varying capabilities lie in wait. All right, Let's see here. Different types of Emmy with varying capabilities. The green one, whatever that is. This is the speed booster thing. Capabilities lie. I doubt you need speed booster to beat the speed booster Emmy. Um, so then a blue one, maybe ice, or the, maybe this is a scan. Yeah, this is a scan thing. Planet ZDR. The pulse radar. Lurk in the dark. Is that gravity? Deadly unknown orbit. Gravity is like late in the game. Whenever I've seen Samus with gravity, that's that's pretty late. Organisms lurk in the dark. The ruins of a long lost civilization litter the planet. Lost civilization litter the planet. What's it holding? The mysterious bird like chosen. It's looking freaky as fuck, man. Hey, what's up, man? Just chilling. So, figure ally or enemy. What secret truths hide within planet ZDR? Beyond what was that? The what secret truths hide within planet. What the fuck is that? ZDR. Beyond the mission. Beyond the. <laughs> Dude, the, the screaming. Ah! Listen, this is Samus. ZDR. Beyond the mission, beyond the dread, what true terror lies in wait? Ah! Am I missing anything? I don't know what I'm even looking for. I haven't like noticed anything like crazy so far. <coughs> Whatever this is, this is like a broken looking Emmy. What is this? Th that must be space jump. The so space jump jump doesn't have an actual animation. It just has. You know what I mean? It's just Samus spinning. Because in like Super Metro, there's an actual animation. Yeah, maybe it's. Maybe it's. Until you get Screw Attack. Because Screw Attack has its own, like, spin animation. I want to look at this, too. That's kind of neat. So, 
I mean, this fight should be pretty sweet. It's pretty cool that you get to fight Kraid here. Damn, missed a quick kill. Fucking loser. Kraid looks early as well. I think I was right, yeah. Also, with the two E-Tanks, um, we should have, like, the dash ability at this point. Um, according to earlier on. Um, I think I was right. I think that uh, this thing up here is Kraid. I think this right here is Kraid with the horns. Um, and it's like a one-tile room. So it's probably, like, either here or here. And then, like, maybe the fight starts here. And then you, uh, or, like... Maybe it's like four tiles or five or three, whatever. And then the fight, and then there's like a, the item that you get from Kraid. That's probably the first boss. So I assume you start the game... You start the game very close to, to somewhere in here. I'd have to look at the previous gameplay and then like look at the tiles. Yeah, I mean, Kraid could give you dash, too. Was there anything like that Kraid was doing? Because, like, a lot of times, um, a lot of times, you'll get an ability that, like, the boss has already, right? Like, you know, so if, he, if he's doing something, like, noticeable, I would assume that that noticeable thing would be, like, the ability that you get. Oh, this? That means you already have an ability that uses uh, Aeon or whatever it's called. So that means you have Scan, Pulse, or uh, Dash at that point already. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if you, when you fight Kraid, I wonder if, like, Kraid becomes actually unchained and then, like, falls down. <laughs> There's a huge fucking pit underneath. Yeah, I mean, look at that. I assume this is crit because of the horns and the, like the how small the room was. Yeah, this is this is clearly something. Or maybe crit. Maybe he becomes unchained and like falls and then, huh? Yeah, this is sweet. I'm very excited. Yes, I am excited. That looks sweet.